Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo for the month of February 2020. My main focus is um, that period of Valentine's. So in and around uh, that period. Um, although this reading, um, you most likely are in this energy that I'm going to begin to speak about. Um, this is a, I feel, a very targeted uh, message for someone. I feel also um, I may have picked up on this person's energy several times. It feels like a continuation um, it's, you know, it's, it's not going to resonate with everyone is what I'm trying to say. If it doesn't, um, check your moon and your rising sign. And if, if you don't find your message there, please, um, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Overall energy is the card of fire. Someone may feel as though they are walking on hot coals or through fire. Um, this is very intense, passionate energy. Um, it is a card that speaks to spirituality, inspiration, determination, strength, intuition also creativity, um, ambition, expansion. It speaks to the ego. I feel it is possible that someone's ego could be bruised. What we have here uh, is the Sphinx. I feel that you have a very deep passion for someone, but perhaps your ego has been bruised. Um, you may have a victim mentality with regards to this situation. Um, understand also this energy can be vice versa. Okay, so this could be you, this could be the other person. There's something that you're in a situation I feel you cannot get out of. Um, you cannot release it. You cannot let it go. Uh, no matter how, how hard you try to move away from it, you, it's like you can't. You have the witch's hat here. This is uh, speaking to repeating patterns that hold you back, that hold you in, in fear, basically, feeling powerless. This could be past memories, um, and most likely this is what it is that is linked to these fears and causes you always to hide in the shadows. Understand that you are more powerful than you think. A card of ancestors. I feel, um, I feel that there's a person or a situation uh, that comes back or can turn up again or has maybe turned up, but you're running from it or will turn up but you may run from it or fear it for uh, for whatever reason, only you know. I feel that you are holding on to fears. I feel these fears keep you from obtaining that happiness and that freedom. Something. 
I feel is about to change. There's something that is trying uh, to incubate, to birth. Eight of Swords. Yep. This card really says it all. Once burned, twice shy is what this is. You've been hurt. Uh, and so you're fearing. Um, it's holding you in fear. Uh, again, this would speak to that <clears throat> victim mentality also. Um, this monkey is afraid, um, is afraid to fall on that porcupine. He might get hurt. This could be, it has to do with the Ace of Swords and the Chariot. So it's moving forward with, uh, a, a truth or facing a truth. Um, in this case, I feel it's facing up to fears about, um, a situation. Fear maybe of speaking the truth. Fear of hearing the truth. Or what you perceive that this truth is or would be. You cannot escape this, I feel. Um, and you are appearing at the bottom of the deck of two of these decks in the strength card. You are missing someone. You want to go back. You are not healing uh, or it is not healing uh, because of something that haunts you. Something that keeps that sword over your heart. You are stuck on something from the past. Um, this situation is not over. I feel that you want to have communication, um, but you're afraid or You could be afraid of, of getting hurt again. Or afraid of hearing something. So it's like you're not uh, you're not choosing. You want to. You're you're grieving. You're in pain here. There could be regrets with this card. And, you know, temperance is looking over here at the five of cups. So there are, uh, there is this uh, desire to heal this situation. Maybe you just don't know how. Or maybe you're too afraid. Or they are. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking as if it's you. It's, it's just much easier than going back and forth all the time. Um, there is a need here to make up one's mind. Uh, or I feel like you know that you want this, but it's it's more a decision of gathering up that courage uh, to push it forward. Take control. This was a relationship that came in and went out. It was fleeting because this is fleeting uh, kisses and hugs. But it is what you want to gain control over. It is what, in fact, you want to bring in. You could be praying for divine help, assistance, and guidance. You are feeling <clears throat> on edge with regards to uh, being able to uh, gain this control. You've got all your boundaries up. 
and you don't it, it's almost like um <clears throat> it's almost like you don't you're not letting them in you could be afraid they would cross this boundary but you cannot stop thinking about them you want this you have the empress twice here with the ring this is commitment this is someone you want to bring back around bring back into your life Pisces is uh, this card speaks to um, someone who has that victim mentality who's very sensitive who's walking a very tight line trying to keep the balance because again if they fall both of these cards indicate uh, should they fall they're going to get hurt because they're going to in each card we have that porcupine sitting right below them and they're reflecting on this and I feel like you want to end this period of pain and grief um, the beacon is uh, about uh, it lights the way so you're looking for the way or the direction seeking it or even praying for it here we have beneath this is this uh this hermit you want to go back but uh there's an obstacle here and it has to do with that ace of swords because the ace of swords is stuck in that rock halfway up so this has to do with communication that is 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 stuck or uh you're unable to uh speak up um or maybe not you're not talking um, the hermit has taken the star out of the lantern and he's looking at it wondering where is this going there um there could have been communication already for some reason that may have went up in smoke because maybe you were too afraid to uh to speak up um or you felt it wasn't it wasn't balanced or even that someone uh, may not have been being on the up and up but there was some sort of communication here you see the phone and the letter uh, that went up in smoke it didn't it didn't produce anything and so there was disappointment here this is a relationship that is out of balance and I, I, here we have a card of not being able to trust carrying burdens and pain from the past something may have happened in the past that perhaps you didn't see coming you may have felt stabbed in the back and so now you're not trusting the card of water up here with the ten of staves well the water uh, this could be repressed emotions burdens from the past and it has to do with matters of the heart your feelings connections that something from the past for sure with this ancestor card and the witch's hat being here um this it's whatever happened in the past you're holding on to that you've got repressed feelings um, you have fears
and maybe um, as much as you want this, you could be wondering if it is the right choice for you or not. Because we have the Seven of Cups here in the reverse. We have the Hanged Man who looks defeated. We have the question on this. Um, and we have the automobile. It, this could be easily um, uh, wondering if this person uh, would come to you or if you should go to them. That could very well be the question mark. If, if I move forward with this, would they meet me halfway? Could it be balanced? You cannot escape from these thoughts, from these feelings. Seven of Swords in the reverse. I feel you cannot escape it. You still desire and wish for this, but you still have that Three of Swords above you. You have a lot of worries because of that Three of Swords that is above you here in the Four. You're worried about repeating patterns. You're worried about deception. You're worried about a lot of things. And you need clarity. Um, with the candles, it is what you are seeking. But you know, and, and this is about the bridge. This is a very positive card. It is the last card in your reading. And this is somebody meeting you halfway on that bridge. Well, this is, again, what's in your thoughts because um, of that eight of coins, really looking and pouring over the details. Um, You are so very tempted to reach out to have this conversation or a meeting. This is a meeting and this is the temptation to do it. But you fear that you will be led astray. And so you're letting your fear, from what I see here, um, control you. But understand that these fears are what cause you to hide away in the shadows. It most likely is a repeating pattern. And this is what needs to be axed out. Understand that the fears cause you and keep you there. And will remain to do so until you face them. That is what I have for you. One more card, the talisman, something here is about to change. This is a change in luck, a change in fortune. You can do this is what it's telling me. And maybe this is what is going to bring in the change. I mean, spirit can present us with an opportunity. Um, but if we sit back in fear of it and do nothing, that opportunity is going to walk right by.
Thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. I wish you all the best. Many blessings to you.